I replaced the 12 volt battery that I had mounted here which was used to provide power to all the extra lights, horn, GPS, radar, etc. that I had added to the bike over the years. The reason for doing this was to make the charging process easier and to save a bit of weight. The motor controller plugs into the battery up here. I bought a new cable to insert between the motor battery and the motor controller and splice into that so as not to void the warranty on the pedal assist power system. This unit takes between 40 to 60 volts DC in and then reduces that to 12 volts DC out to supply the extra power needs. This means I only have to charge the pedal assist battery. It has worked flawlessly for about nine months now and they're not expensive, about 30 bucks. I use a small piece of aluminum angle iron to fabricate two brackets to attach the cups at an angle to place my heel properly on the pedal. That means placing the arch of your foot over the spindle of the pedal. The two brackets are attached with small bolts through the pedal and the heel cup. I searched for good headrests for a long time. What I found is that it did not fit the bike very well and they are very expensive for what you actually got. So I decided to build one myself. I put a piece of cardboard behind it so that you can see it a little better. I bought this foam piece online for $15 and the rest of the parts I had laying around the shop. I had an old crutch from years ago in the closet. I took it out and cut it into pieces and used it for make a rod to hold this headrest nice and tight on the back of the seat. Here goes it's attached to the bottom horizontal bracket on the seat. And it goes up and there is attached to the top horizontal bracket. And then it moves up here to a 45 degree copper fitting to change the angle. And then it goes up here for the T for the top that holds the headrest. That uh, adjustable fitting right there allows the thing to go up and down for height adjustment and I'll show you later how the uh, other adjustment goes. This was a piece of the crutch that was an adjustable for height adjustment. This is a screw fitting here. It loosens, allows this to go up and down to adjust the height of your headrest. This is a three quarter inch copper T, fits this PVC perfectly. So it made the frame out of PVC. These pins here would allow the unit to be tilted different positions on the back of your neck. You could drill multiple holes in this piece of PVC here and have multiple adjustments if you like. But this is much sturdier than what you can buy online. It's cheaper than what you can buy online and I think it works better than what I was able to buy online. So probably cost me $25 to make it.